competition for the first time. Federer will meet Spanish teenage sensation Rafael Nadal in the semi-finals. The 18-year-old fourth seed beat Argentina's David Ferrer 7-5-6-2-6 love in just over two hours. Nadal is bidding to become the first man since Mats Villander in 1982 to win the French Open on his debut. Cool. Thank you very much. While Brighton wait for a stadium of their own, the best football ground in Britain has been very kind to them once again. After winning promotion to the championship at the Millennium Stadium this time last year, a delighted chairman was called back there yesterday to collect a cheque after a Seagull season ticket holder won the club £250,000 to spend on new players. Aaron Berry from Worthing entered a Coca-Cola competition more than 80 times. He wins £10,000 for himself as well as the quarter of a million towards the club's playing budget. Towards the playing budget, it's doubled the playing budget. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the 10 grand is, is, is wonderful. Um, I would have been made up if another Brighton fan had, had, had won it and we got the 250,000 towards the, the playing side because, you know, it's going to give us such a fantastic boost. I'm, I'm over the moon. I've, the weekend, since I found out, has been unbelievable. It's getting to be a habit of going on the pitch at Cardiff, uh, <laughs> celebrating something. So, uh, who knows, maybe we'll make it a hat trick next season. <laughs> <laughs> Albion manager Mark McGee is likely to use the unexpected windfall to buy a big striker to play alongside Leon Knight. Talking of which, Southampton's Peter Crouch has been handed a second chance to make his full England debut. Albion are celebrating a quarter of a million pound transfer bounty thanks to the loyalty of lifelong fan Aaron Berry. The cash-strapped Seagulls will be able to spend the money on a player or players of their choice next season after Aaron triumphed in a winner player promotion run by Football League sponsors Coca-Cola. Well, the Brighton chairman was a very happy man when he met Aaron at yesterday's championship playoff final in Cardiff. Dick, uh, 250,000 towards the playing budget, that's fantastic news. Towards the playing budget, it's doubled the playing budget. <laughs> Thanks to Aaron and Coca-Cola, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You know, uh, we'll get a new player and all we need now is a new stadium, isn't it, to, for him to play in. Well, he's certainly pleased and Aaron already has his own ideas about how he'd like the money spent. Ideally, I think it's got to be a forward. Um, I mean, Adam Virgo did brilliantly last season as our top scorer, but he, by nature, is a, is a centre-back. Um, so I think we need a, a centre-forward to bang in a few goals to make it a bit more comfortable next season. OK, what could the Seagulls buy for a quarter of a million pounds in today's overinflated football market? Well, if you want to buy the best, like Zinedine Zidane, who sold for £45 million, pounds, then £250,000 would just about get you his little finger. Or how about the golden foot of England's £25 million pound golden boy, David Beckham? Or the money could buy back Brighton's homegrown £1.5 million pound star, Bobby Zamora, but only his legs and only below the knees. But if they want to buy in bulk, they can afford their own squad of 32 men two times over, a snip at £111,000. Well, let's cross live to Brighton and our reporter, Juliet Parkin. Juliet, it sounds great, doesn't it? But what does this windfall really mean for the club? Well, Beth, £250,000 may not seem an awful lot in Premiership terms, but for this cash-strapped championship side, it's certainly not to be sniffed at. Last year, the club announced losses of £1.273 million and didn't have a transfer budget to speak of, which obviously left them very vulnerable against other more well-off sides in the battle against relegation. Now, although the Albion did manage to stay up in the championship, the odds on them going up any further currently lie at 80 to 1. But I spoke to the bookies today and they said that with a new player, those odds could look a more healthy 16 to 1. But despite all this excitement over the extra cash, manager Mark McGee said today he wasn't getting his hopes up about the prospects for next season. It is going to be a much tougher division this year. So, you know, for us to hang on in there, we're going to need even more than we did last year, including finance. And I think what this does, it gives us a, a much better chance of staying in the division again. But as far as actually moving forward and up the league, that's still going to be difficult. Well, who that new player is going to be, we don't know yet. But the club say it's very likely to be a centre-forward and say they've got a few options in mind. And they did take this opportunity today to stress that it's not just new players they need, it's a new stadium at Falmer to put that in, to put them in. But they won't know if they've won that yet until the autumn. Back to you. Juliet in Brighton, thanks very much. Well, this unexpected transfer boost means that instead of selling star players that win you the big matches, just like the aforementioned Mr Zamora, Seagulls fans may have a lot more to celebrate next season, which, in case you didn't know, starts in just ten weeks. Rob?
Can that be true? Yeah. Just ten weeks. <laughs> Now, don't give up the day job. They open today under normal circumstances. It wouldn't have caused too much of a stir at Brighton. But manager Mark McGee, as our reporter James Haddock explains. It is a true blessing for the club, which has struggled to stay in the championship because of financial constraints. Brighton and Hove Albion's restricted capacity at the Withdean Stadium also has a knock-on effect of attracting new players to the club. But now with the addition of quarter of a million pounds, fresh hope. It is a huge fill-up for us. Um, it, it really is. I mean, to some clubs it might not seem significant. Uh, you know, clubs whose budgets, even in this division, are like in 20 million range. Um, but our budget's way down under 2 million range. So this is a significant uh, addition to that. Aaron Berry was the fan who won the prize. To actually be able to give that sort of money to help us, um, firstly, survive and then hopefully to progress as time goes on, it, it means well to me. I'm so pleased that... I can do more than you know, buy my regular season ticket every season to actually do something like this. I'm so chuffed, really am. It now gives Mark McGee a few extra options for what's likely to be a busy summer, dipping into the transfer market. We've got to box clever, you know, not like um, I'm not Jose Mourinho who's going to maybe go out and spend millions. Um, of course we're not, but you know, nonetheless, uh, we were left at the end of the season with a small squad, um, so we have to go out and probably sign four, maybe even five players. But how would the fan who won the cash like to see it spent? It's you know, common knowledge that we need a striker. Um, Adam Virgo was absolutely outstanding last season, but by nature he is perhaps um, a better centre-back. Um, we need a forward to score some more goals. Brighton, £250,000 better off. Fans and staff alike hoping that can make a real difference for the new season. James Haddock, Sky Sports. South Sharks fly-half Charlie Hodgson says he's determined to take his chance.